what's the challenge for you guys to I guess, lock back in mentally after a, a long weekend and then a relatively quick turnaround for tomorrow? Um, I mean, just taking it one step at a time, you know, going over where we need to learn from the Bahamas and just trying to implement in practice and really just be ready to play. You know, it's all about the game. How do you guys feel about yourselves coming back from that? you feel encouraged, disappointed? What's the... I mean, always, always encouraged, you know, never try to be down. Uh, you know, we, we realize we can play with anybody in the country. So, you know, we just got to learn from our mistakes, see what we need to work on and, you know, keep working on it and try to get better at it. I know you were really good at getting to the free throw line and hitting and, and you know, finishing at the rim. But have you taken another step in your development this year in, in being able to finish your contact and just kind of, and still, yeah, and still, still draw fouls as well, but I mean, just a little bit, I don't know, slightly tougher? In the lane, maybe? Um, I mean, I feel like I had the same toughness level, but uh, I definitely, definitely feel like I've improved. You know, my body getting stronger. You know, more physical, and just learning the college game from my first year to now being in my second year. Just, um, just always trying to get better. You know, staying in the gym, working on things I need to work on, and you know, I'm glad it's showing. Now it's seven games in. Um, what have you learned about playing with Tyrese? Because certainly, not only is he one of the best players in the country, he's really unique in the way that he's a point guard. What have you learned about how to play with him? Uh, you just gotta let him be who he is, you know. Once he gets the ball, you just you just kind of try to try to figure him out. I mean, you know, he's a wizard with the ball. He looks for angles, looks for guys to be open. So, I mean, I just try to stay in open spots. You know, I try to talk to him a lot, see where he wants, see where he looks at, see his reads, and uh, just try to be there for him whenever he needs me. What did uh, Condit give you guys over the I guess last week? Um, you know, he's been consistent all year. You know, blocking shots, rebounding, rim running, dunking, things like that. You know, just really. Bring him uh, positive off the bench, so you know, just keeping him, keeping him positive, and keeping the emotions up and doing for us. You have a guy with his ability to protect the rim, and then you know, where you can throw it up around the rim and have a dunk it. What, yeah. What kind of advantage is that, you know, for you guys as guards, you know, on both ends of the floor? Uh, I mean, it's big. You know, defensively, you know, we can pressure the ball. You know, if we might get beat to the rim, George will be there to have our back, so you know, he'll block the shot. We'll get the rebound and run. Uh, and offensively, just knowing, you know. Some shots you might think about taking with, with some other guys on the floor. You know, you can shoot a floater, and maybe it'll bounce high, but George will go get it, you know, tip it in, things like that. So he just brings, like, a security blanket, really. You know, the Bahamas is kind of a weird setting with that low ceiling ballroom. Was it a neat change of pace, though, because you really started to get the three ball going, that you just, different sight, completely different, just kind of reset and, you know, uh, settle in? I don't, I don't want to blame it on the sight, you know <laughs> I mean? It just it just went in for me, you know. I just been working on it, and it finally went in in the game, so it felt really good. It really shot the lights out. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ty racing.